What right about? Yes, I can confirm that the large uh, medical supplies, supplies have fought for for long, arrived in hospital three days ago. These medical supplies, which include drugs, bandages, beds, and medicines, are all absolutely free. Let me make this very clear. In all our public institutions, curative, preventive, rehabilitative, and promotive health services are free of charge. And this has been the case since 2000 what? 2001. However, and let me emphasize this, user fees in public health facilities only remain in the private wings of, the, of those facilities. But Sometimes there are no medicine in these public facilities. And the patients are advised to go and buy from their private facilities. And it's true also that sometimes some patients pay under counter fees in, this, in, the, in these institutions. But as leaders, we cannot be everywhere all the time. Catolava, Madame Bagamia Cumiezu, Gatuaf Kijam Susuvida, and Beranga, where the Nogaro Cumis and Cumiezu sat to the Indiagala. No, no, several father was in the traffic jam. Same way, and I yet be said a name better. Let it work out as a brother, Catty Guerava, and go for the way Fuzzi. Let the Indiagana was again a Machanga Changa. Two canyons are now we are taking a cut to where we were for. Two canyons are now we are taking a cut to why did you give it to him? Now what? It's just 1,000 shillings. Did you want me to cause a sin? So you prefer being cheated and causing a sin? Now you wanted me to fight him. So for you, just throw away money just Come like that. On. You have a lot of it, so you can throw it away. But when are you going to expand your salon business? Now, what does 1,000 have to do with my salon? I'm not talking to you about it. No, the canal way. You know, sometimes you keep overreacting about it. If it is important to you, then let it go. Come on, baby. Let's not argue ah. about simple things. Ah. This is 1,000 to you. 1,000 to you? The canal way. Come on, baby. Let's not fight about this again. You know what? I don't understand you. Sometimes it's people of your mentality that are letting down this country of ours. Now, really, what has this got to do with the country? Okay, are you going to talk to me or just ignore me and write in that stupid book of yours? It's not a book, it's a diary. And with what you've done, you've given me an idea what to write about. There you go again. Politics. I hate politics. In fact, let me watch my match. Do not switch on that chi machine of yours. It's going to distract me. I need to concentrate here. So you can write your politics, but mm. I cannot watch my match. Mm. Idea 26. The youth need to be more 
creative, energetic, and idealistic. These are all great political weapons. Great change? No. 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 Mm -mm. These are. These are. No. These are all political weapons to a beautiful revolutionary change and development. Because we as the youth can adapt to change and technology. Come on, baby. They better they sleep. You will write this no. thing later. No, I do not want to forget it. May I even wonder why you keep stressing about politics. Politics is always the same. It will never change. It can't do nothing for us. No, people like you won't change. What do you mean people like me? People like you don't rightfully demand for what belongs to them. Amanio, what belongs to me is in my saloon and in this house. And nobody has come to take it. Clearly you don't understand. I understand. No. You don't understand I me. understand you. Of course. You don't understand. I understand. No. I do. You want me to go on the streets shouting for roads and whatever. Eh? I mean, I don't even drive a car. Why should I care? Yeah. Why should you care? Ah, no, no, I'm not going to watch the match. Yeah, I got important things to do. Forget about it. So you're not going to watch the match for me? Not, baby, everything I do just for you, okay? <laughs> Come here, <laughs> Come here. After oiling it, eh? I'm going to put a spray that holds it strong for long so that you can maintain the same style for a while. Eh? That's fine with me, as long as you don't charge me extra. No, I'm not going to charge you. But even if I did, mm. I'm sure you'd be able to pay. <laughs> what makes you think so? You're a beautiful woman. Hmm. More than a saint and I'm me. Uh, maybe if I pay in kind. Pay in kind? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't handle me. Me, I'm tough. <laughs> what makes you think so? I don't just think so. I know I'm tough. <laughs> You'll be surprised. I would prove you so wrong. Well, I think you'd suffocate trying to prove me wrong. You'll be surprised. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yo, no, 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 I know, no, eh? Kale, okay, one day, then you know, she's so tired. You can't say that you're mad. I'm not a business winner. I think you look at the Zig. Tell him what you're going to say. Consider. But, Mugan, yeah. why are you being so hard on your friend? No, I'm not being hard. I'm not being hard. It's my duty to make sure everything goes right. It was my idea of Tandika Sakeno. Because people don't honor their promises, then it's so again a mass. But that doesn't mean that you should bully Musitwa like that. It's not bullying. After all, they say he has more stamina than you. What has he? That is a king among men. Hey, hey, hey. What you be eh, People talk, people talk. <laughs> well, let me tell you, eh? Mm. Yeah. My baby, if Mositwa is a student, yeah. me am a professor. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Meanwhile, your phone is vibrating. I, I don't mind. That's just my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Kube Simoyo. 
She calls me to know whether I'm fine, whether I've eaten. She must love you so much, Bambi. Yeah, she loves me, but you see, over calling me is wasting air time, and I'm trying to save. <laughs> oh, Mganga! Yo! Take it out, the speaker, Bambi. Wow, could the speaker pull no? Take off. Ah, 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 what was that all about? Ah, okay, it is just stuff, my main stuff. No, Biha, you are conning a woman for him. I'm conning a woman. No, we will cast the rules. We are conning a woman. We will cast the rules. We will cast the rules. You are the same. Never to change. I wonder why he's not picking. He said the lectures next week. Now he's saying this week. As if we don't have things to do. He thinks we're just sitting there for a reason we lost that match last night was that foolish referee. How do you give a man you see very offside such a goal? And he was not offside. You, eh? you, what do you, oh, what do you, you know? Shut up. You? Shut up. That's nonsense. Of yesterday. No, no, no. Mugano. Mugano. Wait. Eh? Did you watch the match? <laughs> Where were you? I knew it. I, I just knew allow. It. You lost. Allow. That, Mugano, the way I see you, yeah. you're falling in love with that girl. Yeah, but to tell you the truth, brother, she's different. Tell me the truth. I'm from the same village with that, that girl is confusing your head. Why? Really? 
Itchy guy. Stop confusing me. Hey, what's up? What's up? Baby, how are you? I'm good. Oh, I don't expect you here. I'm bad when you're off later. No, I am. I was very, very off. But can you imagine the lecture I called? The lecture is today, not next week. Is it? Yeah. So you're going there now? Yeah. No, I'm just asking you. I just came to drop the key and go pick Betty. Can you tell us how to convey? Let me give you uh, your speech. No, no, no. I'm late. You look good. Okay. You always look good. I you have know? to go. All right, then. Okay. Is it political science you're going to do? <laughs> See you in the evening? Yeah. Kare. Okay, bye. Mama, some love, some love. Okay. See, Marisa, I'm taking the powder. We got to tell you the truth, eh? Yeah, man. Mm, I think I should get myself one like that. <laughs> Me, I told some you of you should not man. even be talking, but I should get myself someone like one. No, some no one has you. time for you. You cannot be a man like Muganga. Forget about that uh, funny off layer. Change the off-layer. channel. Let's, let's, let's Who are you calling an off layer? Just turn Who on the is, is TV off-layer? and watch some Who are you calling an off layer? What do you think you are? The broiler, one day old chicken. An on layer, off layer, an off layer, not an off layer. Ah, so so that's the, that's the problem with you. All the time, everywhere you go, Uganda TV here, where, just call me when the the the, the, the match starts. Oh. <laughs> that's what Alvin can annoy me. Eh? That's what you be doing all the time. I don't like him. And I'm sure you have a thing for him. Uh, go away. That's how women He's behave. He's not my type. Never. Never. She. I think this is, should be okay. Thank you. Your boyfriend Ibambe should be happy. My lover, not boyfriends. Lovers. Yeah. Lover. What's that guy there? Bambi. Mkanga, you are really, you are really nice. You are yeah. good. Eh? Why don't you just hop on to a border B? <laughs> I'm not using border borders. Why? Those guys are cheats. You know, yesterday they stole 1,000 from me and Muganga. <laughs> but, by the way, that Muganga guy of yours, Oyomsa Jomuaga Zach, I think he is a loser. He's not a loser. Neda, you think about it. A salon guy, like for real, you can do better than that. Okay, Betty, stop talking about my man like that. Muganga is really, really enterprising. Look at most of his friends with whom he finished campus with. They're just there lazing around waiting to be employed. Before him, he started his business. His saloon, I'm so sure it will pick up. And and for me, I still insist you can do better than that. You need a guy who can support you financially and give you security. But I know you're my best friend, but really, you don't see me going all up in your business, do you? So stop being fine, all up my business. Fine. Kale, I'm sorry, but I still insist as your best friend. Zendozo msajja takusana. Funayo msajjo. Shut up, bet. The taxi is even here. Eh, we go. Nice make time. You jumped to him, I played it to you now. Yeah, yeah. So I just took what he did. No, 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 I'm saying fine. In fact, Malama, Nike Bakuba. Ah, Zondi, Zinozani. Zinozani. So, how's business been? Yeah? Business is not bad. Wow. How is here? Ah, nothing really big, just the sun. Okay. Trying to make it better. We have a new machine. Forget the old one. I can see. Yeah. So, how can I cut, Muzi? Uh, just trim it. Yeah. Shape it. Okay. Then you perfect my oil. Okay. Yeah, just reducing. Same, yes. like, same, same level. level. Mm. Oh, okay. Akasana ka kokalani. No problem. No problem. Ana chichi. Enda ko. Enda ko nina. Good guy. Hey. Super. Call him 
means a lot to me, you know. I just want to listen to his voice. Simple. Uh, uh, that guy doesn't even deserve you. Yes, you, really? you, you, you can't do better than that. You hardly know him, okay? So he's more of a man than those stupid lovers around campus who have no purpose in life. Ah. Mama, some love in the air. Some love for me. I don't know why he's not faking. Maybe he's busy. He'll call you back later. I'm picking something so easy. Just pick your call and... What is this you've done? Excuse me? A gambia trim my hair, right? Then perfect my own. Nick cut it out. You've cut off this. Muzei. On Gambi we were together. I was cutting you, you were in the mirror. Uh, You've been watching everything I probably do, directing I, me. Probably I dozed off. Dozed off? Did mm. you come here to sleep? No. Eh? In fact, I should charge you twice for cutting your hair and for sleeping. You know, the point is, I'm not paying. What? I'm not paying you. Pay. What? My friend sent us and we just him. What's going on? Oh, no, yeah. him, he's not going to pay me my money. You are Baba. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, you oh, pay oh, me money. Oh, no, 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 and you don't want to pay our money. And next time you make sure either you come here to pay or you don't come. Now, how did that start? Kazungu, eh. man, I watch for me. Eh? I watch for you. Yeah, I watch for me. I'm but going to Ojire, you have gone. Eh? Mm, I have to go to hospital, man. I mean, don't pay the trouble now. The the chapati, the then it's a run. Wait, Kazungu, huh? What are you? Hello. Boda, boda. Ah, Kazungu. Eh? And did you tell me that you didn't come here to 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 tell me What Thank happened? God you're here. Munango were going to Kampu. Then she was trying to reach you on phone. Then some good thug came and snatched the phone from her. She tried to follow him, entered the road, and then she was bashed by a car. Baby. Munango, she's still unconscious. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Why is she not attended to? You ask her. Nurse. What? Why hasn't she been attended to? We gave her a bed and an injection for the pain. And that's enough? And that's all? I mean, Mbade Suvirati Mugina dressing every wound. Sebo, we do not have supplies. Unless you're going to come with your own supplies, maybe we can help you. Now, which doctor is responsible for her? And who is, who is in charge of this place? Down the hall. <laughs> yes, I'll deal with that. Personally. Yes. Your money. <laughs> Are you in charge Later, here? later. Yes, I'm Dr. Peter, and how may I be of assistance? My girlfriend. She's in the casualty. She's dying. She's lying unattended. Eh? 
and your nurse is telling me that they cannot attend to her but they don't have medicines. Eh? Yes. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? How can you tell me that when the chairman was on TV yesterday, he was announcing that the medicines have arrived and they've supplied them in the hospitals? Eh? Young man, do you see any here? Look, the chairman was on TV and he said every government hospital had received medical supplies, including this one. <laughs> uh, young man, that is political talk. Let me tell you something. Look at us. We are here in this hospital surviving the best we can. And in fact, at times we even pick out of our pockets to save patients. But I saw that with my own eyes, okay? LC3 chairman who do not lie on national TV. Young man, young man. Forget about what you heard and what you saw on TV. We both know those people are liars. But look at it on the bright side. I've got my brother and uh, he can be helpful so that we can help your girlfriend. Okay. Well, <clears throat> Uh, my brother is a medical student and he's a very resourceful fellow. He can help us with what you need to save your girlfriend for a, you know, a decent subsidized price. So do you have any money on you? The truth of the matter, this hospital as we speak, it hasn't received even a single pill of Panadol. What? Can you imagine that? And you're talking about them talking that they've given us supplies? How much? Um, 300,000. What? 300,000 Uganda shields. But doctor, you can help me, okay? Please, please help me. Eh? This is all I have. And she's all I've got, doctor. Young man, my hands are tied. Listen. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything. You say this, your brother. Yes, he's my brother. Talk we can, but he's not an easy guy to deal with. His language is money. Mba, Mukanda wangi nyamba, okay? Yes, I'm going to pay back. Listen. My hands are tied, like I said. Nyamba, 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 please, please have to save her. I'm sorry, but life is not that fair. Money. <laughs> I think the time has come for us to demand for what is rightfully ours. <clears throat> Young man. What? Um, uh, what do you intend to do? Huh? Somebody will have to give some explanations to me. Uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, Young man! Young man! I'm, I'm, I'm handling it. No, it just came to my attention today. How much are, are, are we looking at? Chairman, yeah? just hold on. Why did you lie to us? Let me call you back. Something just called. What's 
wrong with you? Why are you just busting into my face just like that? Why did you lie to us? You are our leader. I'm not sure what you're talking about. On TV, you said yourself to be the leader of your government by the Dagana. Yes, I'm sure the medicines are there. Well, my girlfriend is dying, lying unattended to on a hospital bed because there's no hospital supply. Are you sure what you're talking about? Yes, I'm very sure. It is the chief medical doctor who told me. Eh? And he actually uh, advised me to get help from his brother at a cost of 300,000. And on top of that, there's no single doctor in the, in the, in the, in the, in the world. What are you saying? You told me the chief medical officer, uh, medical officer doctor, I mean, handled you himself. Now you're saying there are no doctors? I mean, I mean, there are no doctors? What are you talking about? He did not attend to me. I just confronted him in his office after seeing that there's no doctor in the world to attend to us. And, and he told you there are no drugs in the, in yes. the hospital? Yes. He said there was not as much as a pill of Panadol in the whole hospital. Every hospital was supplied with, with, with drugs. They got their medical supplies. Look, this is impossible. Yes, that is what you always say. Okay, you go around good, sweet talking people. What else you think you are very good and keep listening? This is outrageous. You come with me. You do gotta get on top of this. God. God. shall get rid of all the supplies in no time and make some good money. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I wasn't expecting you. Um, how may I be of assistance? What's going on here, Doctor? What's going on? I don't get it. Uh, we are working. There's no problem. Where have all the, all the supplies that were brought here gone to? Uh, the medical supplies, uh, w we have them. Where, yeah. are not, where are they? Well, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, the, 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 the hospital store door is a bit weak, so we, we, we decided to, to move the supplies from here and uh, take them to some store nearby, uh, which is safe. But you uh, told me there was nothing in the hospital. Eh? You told me you had no medicine. You even asked for money. Hey, 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 young man. You must have misunderstood me somehow, but uh, the thing is... Then, then why hasn't his girlfriend been, been given medical attention up to now? The, the, the doctor who deals with uh, uh, accident victims didn't come in today. He wasn't feeling well. And uh, the nurses I have who are available, they couldn't do much. They, but I'm going to... This is not a joking matter. How, how can you let a patient stay unattended to up to now? Really? Mr. Chairman, please, I have a lot on my hands. This could land you in a lot of trouble. All right, Mr. Chairman, let me go and deal with this personally. Hmm? I can't believe how insensitive he could be. The man was very clear to me. He says there's nothing, no medicine in the hospital. Hmm? Look, you, you don't worry. I'll make him answerable for his actions. Yes, as sir. soon as he's done with, with treating your girlfriend, I won't let him off the hope that easily. Yes, sir. It's just not right. Um, she should be fine. Um, luckily, there was no internal bleeding. And, uh, uh, she just sustained simple fractures. But she'll be fine. Um, in the meantime, let me go write her prescription. And also instruct a nurse to come and check on her from time to time. You know? Okay. Uh, just in case of anything. Okay? okay? All right. Do Fine, it. Doctor, but we need to talk, you and me. Baby, I'm so sorry I did not pick your phone when you called. I was thinking it's this usual thing of you disturbing me, calling to find out how I'm doing. I did not realize you were in so much trouble. Nice when you were around me. Now I know why she loves you so much. You'd do anything for her, Bambi. <laughs> did, you, did you see? See what? She opened her eyes. Baby. Muganga. Baby, can you hear me? Muganga. Baby. 
She let opened her eyes. Let, let her rest for now, okay? She opened her eyes. Yes, let her rest for now. I'm sure Betty will take good care of her. I want to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Baby, I'll be back, okay? Okay, you'll be fine, okay? I really cannot thank you enough for what you've done for me today. <laughs> you know. You know what? In all the years I've been chairman, no young fellow has ever confronted me and and questioned my integrity like except you. Well, I really apologize, <laughs> sir, for that. I'm sorry. I just panicked. I thought my girlfriend's life was in danger. But please take my apology. What you did was a great thing. You must stop taking things for granted and stand out to demand for what is rightly yours. Really? By doing your part. Yes. You helped me do my part. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean uh, it is my duty as a citizen to report wrongdoing in public service? It is your duty okay. to, to confront your leaders and make them accountable and active. In fact, that's what, that's what I want to talk to you about. <sighs> so I don't understand. You see, statistically, mm. Yes. The youth form the biggest percentage of our country's population. It is necessary for the youth to come forward and get involved in the general political, social, and economic affairs of, 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 their, of, of their communities. Issues that concern the youth can best be understood by the youth. Yes. In the same light, they can best be addressed by the youth. Therefore, it is up to us, the elders, to step aside and call upon you, the youth, to come forward and get more involved and demand for what is rightly yours. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> to be honest, sir, me and politics, <laughs> we don't mix so much. From the way I saw you handling that situation, yeah. I think you're the best person that can lead your fellow youth to demand and, and know how the communities are being run. Okay, maybe we can try it out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have a small savings uh, group where I work from. Maybe I could call a meeting of all the members and other young people around there, and you talk to them about, you know, being proactive. Okay, but I still insist. You are the best person to lead the youth. Now, just think about it. Just okay. seriously think about it. Okay. 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 But thank you again, Muzei, for everything. I have to go rush, take care of okay. my business. We have a Muzei. I appreciate it. Banangi. I'm sure all of you are wondering why we are gathered here. No, 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 we are not wondering. We are confused. What we is the here. meaning of all this? But we understand, the over. No, you see, me at first, I thought it was about our circle. No, okay, but but circle. now, the crowd is growing. There are people here who are not members of the sure. circle. Mm. So why did you call us here? Um, well, as some of you already know, Yesterday, my girlfriend, Amanyo, had a terrible accident. Monange, hey, hey, they rushed her to hospital. Mm. Then, after a while, they called me. I got there, like, three hours later. And guess what? Uh -huh. She was lying on the bed, unattended to. Ah. What? <laughs> they could not treat her because there were no supplies in the hospital. <laughs> Oh, you, you, you want us to contribute some money so that you, you can buy medical supplies and carry it. Oh, what, what confused me most yes. is that me myself I had seen the chairman LC3 on TV mm -hmm. announcing mm -hmm. that all medical supplies had been stocked in the hospitals. Yes. Uh -huh. You know what I did? Uh -huh. I confronted Chairman Mwada. What is wrong with you? Are you a fool? Chairman Mwada. 
<laughs> was not thinking straight. Muganga, okay. you've only brought us more trouble. So the chairman is here to arrest you? Yeah. I was also surprised. Chairman Mwada that took it upon himself. Uh -huh. We confronted the doctor. Uh -huh. Only to realize it that he did not do it. He is it medical staff were just fooling around that there is no supply there? Actually, Chairman, when I get in here, he offered to come and speak to us to ensure that what happened to me and Amanio does not happen to anybody else in the community. Hey. I have the honor to invite you to speak to my, you know, fellow. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Muganga, for giving me this, for giving me this great opportunity. I know most of you are very busy, so I'll be very brief. Now, yesterday, I talked to Muganga after the incident, and I realized that most of you people shy away from politics, and by so doing, you fail to demand for your rights. Ah. But, Chairman, forgive me, but what rights are you talking about specifically? The rights that belong to you, for the general human basic rights, for example, and, and other related rights like education, employment, those are your rights. Demand for them. But Mr. Chairman, you see, but if, like for us, we are not leaders. It is you, the leaders, who know. Like for instance, in Zensi, Kachapati, Wale. But you Chapati, you don't have to say that. You don't have to say that. As leaders, we make decisions that affect you. So it is up to you people to make sure that the decisions we make about you are the best decisions for you. Okay. Oh, take it. Aha. So you wait now. Very good. Very good. Now you must make sure that the politicians keep their promises to you. I mean, like Muganga came to me. But Mr. Chairman, you see, me, I was not thinking straight. Never the pressure. But what about all these people? I mean, how do they demand for their rights without the fear of the repercussions? But they're too Okay, okay. Listen, listen. Mwekore mu akabo ondo. Mwekore mu like, 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 like circles, like finance schemes. Through those schemes, you can insist, you can demand, you can request, and you can walk through in any way you want, through my office. Yes. Exactly. No. Um, <coughs> sorry, Mr. Chairman. Yes. I have a very polite question to ask. Uh, the question is, are you serious? Because for us, uh, well, I would say for me, that I thought these things uh, only happen when you politicians come back to us, convincing mm -hmm. us to give you yeah. more votes as your term of office is ending. Uh, so is this something serious or this is voting? I am serious. Okay? okay. No! Don't wait for elections. Insist for your rights now. Insist for your rights now. Chairman. Yes. Thank you very much. Mr. Chairman, uh, that's a very good answer. I think we're all satisfied. But uh, now, we, most of us here, are SACO members. Yes. We have a very small SACO here, uh, thanks to Muganga. Mm. But the question is, can we use this SACO to act as a pressure group, to request, demand, and uh, everything to acquire our rights, like you said. Yeah, of course, through you, Mr. Chairman. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Chairman, I have a point. Kagati, walika zungu wakolera, eh? Ono asika chapati. Mazimagaka tondoruvuto runuma, eh? 
Bayi wawo waka sasi wali, tuli ya chapati ze, mchi. Baku chapati dangingu. Kwa ya ribu, ribu si chapati dangingu, ya tinga nobo, kuluwa hilebo. Kuluwa hile chi. Tuwa yonka buluji. Kwa shako, chairman. What can we do for Batu Yambe? Now. And it is a government work. Yes. That is very unfortunate. Okay? But, as the youth, you, much as you have leaders, you cannot be there and keep complaining and complaining. Okay? If the place, Kazungu's place, has got Kasasiro, yes. rubbish, we, we should do some community, community service. We should get up and clean the place. Yes, while we are waiting for the authorities to come and, and, and clean the place up, we should do our, ourselves as the communities make ourselves responsible to go and clean the place. We start, then the, the authorities can, can meet us in the, in the, in the exercise. I agree. doesn't know it or see it like I do, but I've seen it, the way he manages to keep his friends happy while motivating them to work and make better of themselves speaks volumes to me. Hey, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I thought you are the market with the rest. No, they are cleaning. Okay. But when I thought of what, of what, when I saw you earlier, yes, I thought you're the right person. The right man for what? You see, I had a five-point plan for this community. Yes. Safe food. Mm -hmm. Good education. Small income-generating activities for the people. Yes. Good infrastructure. Yes. How did that be my legacy? I wanted to leave my people on a road to sustainable development. But you are achieving that slowly. You see, I'm not achieving it. My time is running out in office and I'm growing old. <laughs> You're growing old. Come on, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> You're a very healthy man, you know. And besides, these days age is nothing. I mean, you can always run for another time in office. It is not good to cling on to power. I've played my part. I, I, I would like to retire and go back to my village to look after my chicken. Ah. But with, do, with all due respect, Mr. Chairman, why are you telling me all these things? You know why I'm telling you this. And that's why I think you're the right person. I want you to run for LC3 chairperson in the next political race. You see, your biggest challenge or fear is self-doubt in an inadequacy. You feel that to assume that you are not, you, you feel and assume that you are not ready for responsibility and also doubt yourself. But believe me, you are very capable. I know people will vote you into office and you can finish my legacy. I would rather have a young, visionary, aggressive, creative and assertive man like yours to fill my shoes. Right, eh? Your Muganga is worth all of it. Okay, hmm. there's a sudden change in mind. Hey, did you 
you, that guy, the way he ran around to make sure you get medical attention, oh. it showed how much he cares about you. I have never got a chance for a man to be that attached and dedicated to me. You know, he's someone you can trust and depend on. I love him so much. Baby, what's up, Kusi? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm sorry, it was a canyon. I'm so happy to see you. How are you? I'm good. Are you okay? I'm Wow, oh my God. you're awake. You I look know. okay. Yes. <laughs> Betty, what's up? Nothing, what's up? <laughs> oh, she's my best friend. Wow. Anyway, now that you're here, yeah. um, I should go do some stuff. I'll be back immediately. No, it's all right. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. So, <laughs> she's okay. <laughs> Bambi, Betty, we're about Thank you. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Cheers. Eh? Take care. Okay. She's a good person. Very much. She's been there for me. Yeah. How are you? How do you feel? <laughs> good. Gwe, Munange. <laughs> Ta -da. Oh, thank you so much. I, I found it under the bed. I thought I had lost it. Now and I can pen. write while I'm here. <laughs> thank you so much. <clears throat> Baby, mm -hmm. something I want to tell you. Okay. What is it? Yeah, um, mm. this whole accident thing, eh? Mm. It has been such a great eye-opener to me. Okay. Um, it kind of made me realize mm. that, you know, I've been taking for granted a lot of things. No. Yeah. So, I, uh -huh. I don't get what I rumble no, about. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say is that mm. so much mm. goes wrong mm. in our community. Mm. And we don't care. Or we think it's not our responsibility at all. Mm. You understand? And I think we should be more involved, you know? That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. You think so? Uh, yes. You see, if I had not acted on impulse and confronted Chairman Mwadad, I know I had. He told me about it. Yeah. I should be more, more involved in the leadership of my community. Mm. I mean, that is so wonderful. You think? Yeah. Yeah. You make me smile. No, it's all right. It's all right. Actually, only that. I don't want to make you smile. You might hurt your wounds. But yes. I was actually thinking of running in the forthcoming LC3 elections. Yeah. Wow. That baby. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I know wow. you can. I believe in you wow. so much. That's but nice. baby. More, more that guy, that chairman, more that yeah. has supporters. <laughs> he has people behind him. I don't know if you can campaign against him. Baby, mm. I am not running against Moadada. I'm confused. What do you mean? He's the one who suggested that I run in his place because he's not coming back. Yes, he said he's even going to campaign for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not hey. where you're going, sorry. No, because you said campaigns. We yes. should start preparing right now. We should go ah, ah, relax. Campaigns are almost six months from now. First, relax, get on your bed. Oh, I'm a campaign manager. Ah, okay, Madam Campaign she Manager. Like everything ready. <laughs> Those are your things. You yeah. are. I'm so proud of you. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry, oh. Mama. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Flowers. Ah, flowers. You don't have to come here, you don't have But Mugang, yeah? the time has finally come. Yeah. But I don't know, are you ready? Are you ready? Kazon. Are we going to go through this? I am as ready. As I was the first day I told you about but this. But Muganga, seriously, what are you going to tell these people? Well, the truth. The truth. same things that I tell you people every day. What? 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 And then you're going to lose. Yeah. I mean, we are your friends, we understand you. Yeah. But how can you start in front of all those people? Or Tariko Bagamba tomorrow talk. Ha ha. You see, Muganga, is right. Yes. Because, you see, unlike you, the other politicians have sweet words. Ah, yes, they use yes, sweet words yes. that make you just say yes <laughs> instantly. <laughs> I am not that kind of politician, okay? 
you guys listen to me yes. and trust yeah. me yes. because you know I am honest. Yes. You understand? Yes. And I want all the community members to see me that way, to believe me for the same reasons. Ah, then you're going, going to lose. I, I don't think we had all thought about it like this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I think, so now that you have it, yeah. yeah? It's your responsibility now to help me make our other community members mm. to understand me the way you understand me. See, I, think, we are, I think you have it. Mm. What we are going to do, the plan is, mm. we are going to all line behind Muganga. Yes. One straight line, and non stop uh -huh. up to that side. Mm. Uh -huh. They will fear us. Ah. <laughs> 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 Ah, what of us was if over don't manja? Query, ha, was it to have us a suit? Send us in a song, get him business here, young boy. Now we could have a line. Oh, yeah, what's your money? Muganga, what do you want to send it? I'm going to have a chin now, chapati. Never will you have it up? Then I'm Kusun and Nang and Kusun. Also, now you have a democratic manager. What are you looking at? Amanio, you know you made a mistake. You should have chosen me first before you choose this loser. <laughs> well, uh, oh, you should have chosen. Ah, 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 what is that? What is that? All these are losers. Amanio, I am the one with the potential. <laughs> you all don't deserve me. You're here gossiping like women instead of going out and handing this out and put on the shirts. Please go so I can prepare him for his speech. <laughs> Muganga. Somewhere. Baby, don't yeah? you think you're taking this whole campaign? No, 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 no. Guys, please, please, please. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Take them. Hang them up on the poles. On the baby. Don't you think you're taking this whole campaign thing a little too serious? No, I'm not. With campaigns, everything has to be in order. Everything has to be ready. Okay. How do you feel? Um, a little nervous, but I think I'm ready. I'm ready. I know you can do Please, it. It's within you. you. Yeah. So I compiled some questions in my head, of course, mm -hmm. that I think they might ask you. So you ready? Um, yeah, I'm question. ready. What would you do if you lose? Um... Do not think. You have no time to think. You People think? want a leader who is sure. You have okay. to be sure of yourself. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's go again. Okay. What will you do if you lose? If I lose, I will go back to my salon What? And... No! No! Victory! Baby, you have to think victory. To you, okay. it's victory. There's no possibility of losing. Okay. You're a winner. Okay. 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 Why is this so hard? What's so Um, now no. so many... Baby, that was a joke. That was a question. <laughs> no. You're crazy. Okay, we go to the next question. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day has been in my dreams for a long time. A long time because I have today known that the people of this community talk less and act more. Ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you your newly elected LC3 chairman, a man whom I know talks less and acts more. Muganga David! Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm not going to take so much of your time. And most importantly, I'm not going to take so much 
of uh, my predecessor's time, who I'm sure has taken quite a lot of his important time to give valuable service to our community. Thank you. I salute you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> to be honest with all of you, I never wanted to be a leader. I thought that leadership was for those old people who know how those political things work. Yes, that was my life. I was happy as a baba in my salon, and I'm still happy that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was happy, but I did not know that I was living in ignorance. And that was until my girlfriend, Amanio, got a terrible accident. An accident that almost took her life. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the time when I realized that the things I used to look at as irrelevant and unimportant to me were actually important. The things that I used to think did not concern me began to concern me. Especially when I reached the hospital and there were no supplies. That was the time when I realized that it was time for me as a young man who had energy to get involved in the running of my community. <laughs> when Amanio got the accident and the hospital had no facilities to save her life, which she was almost losing, the things that never used to concern me began to actually concern me. Amanio and Chairman Muadada helped me to realize that as a young man with energy, I could do a lot. As a young man with energy, I could take action. And as a young man with energy, I could put right what was wrong in my community. Lastly, but not least, ladies and gentlemen, it would be so unfair for me not to introduce to you the person that influenced all the change in my life, the person whose energy has driven about this. I want to recognize the efforts of Amanio.
Life is life, and every man live it in his own way. But the best way to live life is to live with the truth in your heart. But if you stand for the truth, you better be ready to stand alone. I say, if you stand for the truth, you better be ready to stand alone. Give me out. You want to get a good idea, can you know what I'm going to say? You're not going to say anything. 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 Na I know that the truth will be a lonely road. We may not go no longer, we may not go no longer. We may not go no longer. We may not go no longer. We may not expect nobody to defend you. Bagala nyo kukenda mungulu na yende bagala kufa. Bagala nyo kukakawala na yende bagala kutuyana. Bagala nyo kukenda mungulu na yende bagala kufa. Bagala nyo kukakawala. Bagala nyoku kakawala, na yete bagala kutuyana Bagala nyoku kakawala, na yete bagala kutuyana Bagala nyoku kakawala, na yete bagala kutuyana 